Hello, it's day 17, surviving the city of Abuja, starting with no money. And for the first time yesterday, I sold on this pedestrian bridge. I made 5,000 naira, surprising you, but most importantly, I got a lot of phone numbers from the ladies that passed by this sidewalk so even if they were not interested in what i had for sale i still collected their whatsapp numbers because i don't plan to sell on this pedestrian bridge forever what do you think my plan is to get as much female whatsapp numbers as i can and then convert those people to my online customers since will not kill me <laughs> because that way i don't have to keep coming here because trust me cold in this place at night ha the cold can freeze your destiny so no, no 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 we don't plan to do this for a long period of time it's 5 45 p.m at the moment and i'm on my way back to the bridge but sadly i don't have any help today there's no one to go with me to film the process um everyone is sort of busy today i don't know if i'll be able to sell and film at the same time but let me see how it goes today <laughs> Sellers are gradually beginning to um, arrive and as much as I want to spread the sack bag that I was gifted yesterday on this floor, I cannot <laughs> because you see all these empty floor spaces right here. Hmm. There are people's spaces so there are people's spots so I don't want anybody's trouble today. But sadly this is like the happening place in this space. This is the heart of the mi this mini market and everyone who uses this pedestrian bridge must pass through this particular place. I on the other hand have to walk all the way down to the end. I mean... here because this is the only available spot i found and people usually do not get up to this particular place although yesterday i found a way around it i made five thousand naira some sellers around me did not sell anything so you know it's what it is well the cold here today is so much that i had to quickly put on this shirt over the one i wore from the house because it seemed like i was going to freeze setting up now in preparation for sales and then uh, hey, those same people that collected 1000 naira from us yesterday they came to the again you know, and they came to tell me that i'm supposed to pay 10000 naira if i want to continue to sell at these particular spots that usually people are giving spots when they come and for that spot you are supposed to pay some amount of money and they said i'm supposed to pay 10000 naira although the sellers around me told me that i could beg them to bring it down to 6000 naira but i don't know <laughs> since it's just a one-time thing yeah it doesn't seem like a bad idea but then if i can't document the process for you guys to see then <laughs> what's the point here because i don't have a videographer and it means i'll just keep selling and not documenting <laughs> So yeah, I couldn't make any videos today because there was no one to help me and I didn't want to risk setting up my device because I can't keep an eye on it and sell at the same time. I don't want to cry to deal. So I generally advise myself to, to keep everything, my phone and my tripod and everything in my bag to avoid stories that touch. But thank goodness I made another 5,000 naira again today and um, I got a lot more numbers today as well. I have this particular plate of food and let me prepare it for me. I'll just eat and then sleep. See you guys tomorrow. <sighs>